Okay, motion and a second to approve uh, your comment, Mr. Weller.
I'm, of course, in the interesting position of speaking for the Treasurer's Department now, uh, but the Treasurer's Office does have a uh, credit card processing uh, software that <coughs> will be integrated with the Tyler system. Uh, it's just that we're not choosing the particular vendor that Tyler would want us to. Mr. Weller, may I welcome uh, our <coughs> treasurer uh, to speak to that question? Thank you. Good morning, Yate. Benish Maltani. This is Marlita, Mr. Shirley, Mr. Wally. Um, I'm glad you asked that question. Um, what we're talking about is point and pay. That's the system we're using right now. Prior to that, we were using official payment, which was um, a week. Um, Posting payments like maybe a week later, but we swapped over to point and pay where it's like real time where payments are posted automatically within 24 hours. So when um, we got this contract with Tyler, we looked at their e commerce and it was like going back to the official payment where reports are going to be coming in a week later. So um, meeting with Tyler and the IT team. And of course, the assessor, um, our recommendation was to keep the point and pay and just implement some kind of interface. So we're not making any changes. Um, we're still focusing on customer service. Hopefully, that answers your question, Mr. Weller. Uh, well, Mr. Chair, I appreciate that, but you stated that we would then need to develop some type of interface. They're actually working on it right now. and. We did have $10,000 set aside for the e-commerce. So to do the interface, they told us that there's not going to be any charges. And they're already working with that right now with um, Point MP, the vendor. Yes, yes, we're running with that. And the cost savings of the $10,000, um, the original contract with Tyler, the um, superintendents, the school districts were not involved. So um, we went back to the discussion table and now we're getting the school districts involved and then later on, maybe next year, we want to get also the special districts on board and have one system to umbrella the entire county. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you. <coughs> okay, if there's no other questions, I'm going to call for the question. All in favor to approve, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Thank you, gentlemen. Last item, <coughs> finance presentation. Chairman, members of the board, it's before you. Um, you will see these two sheets that we've been given to you. There's actually, a, there was a couple copies. I think there's still a couple more back there for those who wanted to look at them. Um, I just wanted to take, the, or we wanted to take the opportunity today just to kind of go over where we are currently um, as far as our expenditures and revenues inside the general fund. We also have an update on the PERF funds, PERF and VLT funds. Um, Supervisor Weller, I, I, I hope you have this packet. I, I did put it on your your desk or on your chair this morning. So I, were you able to get that? I, I was. Excellent. So the one, the, the document we're going to look at first is uh, expense by. It starts off with expense by organization report. This was as of March 31st, so yesterday.